Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. Welcome back to the show, and in this video, we're going to be doing a review for Star Trek The Motion Picture, which came out in 1979. Now, as you might know, Star Trek was a show in the 60s that had about three seasons, I believe, and after the show ended, they had thought about bringing the cast back for a movie, and I suspect after the success of Star Wars in 1977, that's where they kind of got the idea that doing a science fiction motion picture on the big screen would be a good bet for a success. And of course, Star Wars was also a phenomenon visually, and Superman the movie, which came out in 1978, also was another pioneer of the green screen and digital visual effects. And this movie definitely uses some, which we will talk about later. But to start off for the review for this movie with the stuff that is good, the stuff that definitely works, the best part of this movie is probably the music. It's actually phenomenal. It's different than the music from the show, and in the second movie, The Wrath of Khan, they kind of bring some of that back. Back. but this score actually is really good it's actually a lot better than the movie itself and overall just one of the best film scores of all time that a lot of people kind of forget about it definitely just is music to my ears and i would say the characters overall are good obviously you have the old characters that are brought back but they're all at a new stage of life they have different positions than in the show and there are different people taking over the enterprise so everyone's just in a new position and they're all just trying to adapt to these changes and the overall chemistry between the actors is pretty good. The acting is okay, I would say. The cinematography would have been okay if the effects weren't as bad as they were. And that's kind of where the problems begin. This is a movie that didn't really know its limits. It tried to do a little bit too much with the green screen. And there is some stuff in there that does look good, but a lot of it just has not aged well at all. And it's also just too slow paced of a film. And a lot of people call it under the nickname Star Trek the slow motion picture just because of how slow paced it is. And I will give them partial credit for some of the slow paced stuff like the scene where the music is just playing and it's showing the Enterprise. Because if you were watching that in the theater in 1979, you probably wouldn't care about how it was taking forever because you were just excited to see these characters back and that might have actually enhanced the experience but when you watch it back now it's just definitely not worth it it just goes by too slow there are scenes that just go on for multiple minutes where barely anything changes and to simply put it it should have just been faster paced it didn't have much of a story to tell it was more about just being a reunion, and I don't think the actual story works all that well, especially with the robot lady. So there are some cool shots in here that do work good, and some story that works good. The overall character development is okay, mostly between the old characters, though not so much the new ones. So definitely stuff that works in here and stuff that doesn't. So this definitely comes off as kind of mediocre or some might even say bad. But overall on the quality scale of 0 to 100, we'll give it a 62%. And if you're a big Star Trek fan, you might want to check this out. But if not, you don't have to. And you can actually skip it before you watch the second movie, The Wrath of Khan. Because there's not really anything essential in this movie that you actually need to see in order to see the next one. And I will definitely say The Wrath of Khan is significantly better. But overall, that's what I thought about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. And also let me know if there's a movie you would like me to review. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.